That's the issue with this car. Oi, oi, oi. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So today I have this beautiful, unique car. That's the 2012 Fisker Karma. And it's one of the 1,800 cars produced. And actually it's one of the 1,600 been delivered to United States market because only 200 cars left in Europe. So basically this car been existed only for two years, 2011, 2012. And uh, suddenly for some reason it went out of business and after they stopped producing it, all the dealerships got, got closed, no parts available, no warranty available, nothing. And Henry Fisker just got away with that for some, I mean, somehow, I don't know how, but still, He's produced a new car that's a Fisker Ocean. Again, it's designed in California as same as this car. And there is a lot of different pieces inside the car where it says designed in California, same as your iPhone. Uh, but it, this car was produced in Finland and I think the Fisker Ocean, the new one right now, they produce them somewhere over there also. And after this factory and the car itself got sold to Chinese company, uh, the Chinese company bought it and they start producing the new one again it's called uh, karma rivero and uh, they produce it here actually in california and they do an assembly somewhere in marine marilo valley i think in california i don't know how many pieces they produce a new one and is it the same quality as this one i have no idea but what i do know i have this car it's a half electric it's a half gasoline engine so it's about the same as a chevy volt but it has bigger engine 2.0 turbo same as a Saab, uh, buick and you name it some other chevys so there is no parts problem to get for this engine there is a problem to get the parts for the suspension the wheels the brakes i didn't think actually brakes it's not a problem because it looks like it's a brembo and probably they are crossing as a Tesla and uh, some other Chevy, SS, Camaro and whatever. So it's not going to be a problem for the maintenance tires. It's not a problem. But the bushings on this car, on the suspension right now, they are making noise on the front, on the back. I have no idea if I'm going to fix it or not, but we're going to lift it up and definitely check it. Maybe some of the parts are going to be comparable from other Chevy to put it on this car. But the main question right now, is it worth to buy this Karma Fisker? and drive it as a daily, that's the question. And for me, I have an answer. I'm never gonna buy this car for myself to keep it because it's, uh, it's kind of unique. There is a super inter uh, interesting design on this car and everybody gonna notice you everywhere because it is a unique. And again, some of the people right now, they have no idea what kind of car is that. There is a lot of people, they're asking, what is that? Is it a Chinese, is it a new Tesla or something else? Basically, it is making the, a lot of different noises, like all electric cars, like probably Audi e-tron. Tesla not doing the same, but Audi e-tron, they are making a lot of noises when they're going back or forth, same as this one. But it's not a Tesla. We do have an engine. We do have an exhaust on the side. That's really interesting. So we do have some, uh, some covers on the rear bumper. It looks like it's supposed to be exhaust and producing noise and the smoke from there, but it's not. So we have a two exhaust going on the left and the right from this engine and it is on the front like a super car. So what's interesting about this car? Interesting about this car, we do have a, it's kind of huge. It is a huge car outside, inside there is a lot of space, but when you actually open the door, you're gonna see it's really hard to put yourself on the back seat, especially me, I was driving right now. So now if I wanna go on the back seat, I basically have no space for myself. It's gonna be super hard for me to sit there. Plus it's not comfortable when you're driving it, when I'm sitting there actually. When you're driving it, it's kind of okay. It's not comfortable, but it's fine. So we do have a solar panel on the roof. So basically the whole roof, it's a solar panel. I have no idea what it's doing. Basically, probably it's for the climate control, like Prius is doing exactly the same thing. So it's gonna cool it down when you're not in the car and it's gonna take electricity from, from the small battery, which is producing by the solar panel. Or maybe the solar panel itself connected straight to the fan and the fan running when you're not present in the car and it's super hot inside. The wheels are kind of so unique and uh, i did see those cars on the aftermarket rims i have no idea why they put it this these wheels are beautiful uh, 
the wheels, they, they're super huge. And uh, the design of this car, they kind of integrated to design, I think. Because if you're going to switch the wheels, it's not going to be the same fee scare as of right now. So what's the point to put the Chinese aftermarket rims? I have no idea. The headlights are beautiful. Uh, I mean, it's not the beautiful, beautiful, but it's just the unique. It's something different, it's something you're not going to see it every day. It's not like Tesla. It's not those Fords or Chevy or Hyundai. It's not those cars produced millions and millions and millions. You can see it everywhere. There is a Fisker camera and it's only 1800 cars produced that time. Right now, again, they are produced and I have no idea about the Karma, the new one, how many cars they produced since 2016 when they bought the factory and start producing the cars. But I cannot see those cars everywhere. Can you see that? Probably not. Maybe if you live in somewhere down in Orange County, you might gonna see more cars because there is a dealership over there and they are selling new cars right now. You can buy it. So for some reason, design of this car, it's reminding me those cars you buy in the uh, Ralph, so somewhere in the other store, Hot Wheels. So the Hot Wheels, they do have a car, it's like no name. It's like ugly car designed somewhere in China. And that's what this car looks like for me when I'm looking at that from the back. And honestly, I just check right now, it says right here, depot, depot, whatever you're gonna call it. So basically the lights for this car are produced in China. And I believe there is so many other parts being produced in China because who else is gonna produce it for cheap to make this car? So we do have a parking sensor, we do have a back camera. Uh, I think 2012 Toyota, they have much better backup camera than this one. We, we do have this kind of cool key and we have a trunk compartment. Oh yeah, yeah! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Ay. So we do have a trunk compartment. There is a charger for this car. We do have a battery sitting on the back, so there's basically no space for the trunk. And one of the interesting point. I mean, this car came from auction, right? And as always, from the auction, you're probably gonna expect a car with no floor mats. That's what's happened with this car. The car came, there is no floor mats in this car. My question is, who got the floor mats from the Karma and they put it somewhere else? I mean, the shape is totally different. You're not gonna put it. Why, why, why are you stealing it? Why are you stealing guys some things from the auction? It's always like that. SD card or CD navigation card, DVD stolen or floor mats. That's the common issue when they're stealing it. So the original charger was missing and this is the charger from Nissan Leaf. And uh, as you probably know, all the EV cars, you can use the same, doesn't matter what charger you're gonna use, you can charge it. If you have adapter, you can use the same charger to do the Tesla. So basically in the trunk we have nothing. I cannot put the stroller there. Uh, I Maybe laundry, I don't know. Maybe just a charger. That's all you can do with the truck compartment. So what do you think guys about the design of this car? Please rate it from five, uh, from one to 10. I would say for me, that's the design of itself, the whole car. I would say eight, the way it looks on the back. I would say that's four. The wheels, 10 for sure. That's the issue with this car. Actually, I think uh, they've been using this door all the time, a lot. So lock is not working properly. It is working if you're gonna push it hard or if you're gonna hit it, it's gonna lock itself. But basically like that, you cannot lock it. So the lock itself, I think it's out of range. It's maybe there is some plastic pieces, they make a noise. I have to pull it out and put the used one. I already check it. Some sources, they are $70, $80 used one. Because see the way back door closing, not a problem. But the way the driver door closing, it just won't close. So I have to slam it. So right here, we do have a charging port. Easy. And right there, we do have a gas tank. Kind of easy also. Let's go under the hood and I'm gonna show to you what kind of Chevrolet this car has. So let's see what's going on under the hood. Under the hood, like I say, there is a Chevy engine 2.0 and we do have a turbo on the side. 
I think you can put bigger turbo on this car, TD04, gonna fit perfectly and you're gonna have more power. I mean, it's not the car, it's not the cheap car. If you're gonna check it out closely, you're gonna see what the way the panels put it together, the way they weld it. It's not the mass production same time because I think it's a half handmade. Maybe the whole car itself, the handmade. Besides the engine, we do have a lot of controllers sitting here and I don't have to go somewhere under the dashboard. Maybe under the dashboard there is a lot of different like uh, foot modules and all that kind of stuff, but we do have a fuse box here. We do have a uh, PCM basically for the engine. It is like it's under the hood. We have, a, I think it's a battery controller sitting right there. We have a DC, uh, EVDC, whatever you're going to call it, converter sitting right there. We do have both coolant tanks sitting right here. So one of them, one coolant tank going for the engine, the other one going for the main battery. It's cooling it down always. Even when the car is charging, when it's overheating, the cooling system starts working, the pump starts working, so it's cooling the battery down. Otherwise, it's just going to blow up. So to prevent that, there is always a cooling system for your battery. Priuses, they do have kind of the same, the newer one better, but the old one, they do have a fan. The Tesla, all of them has the same, and the Fisker Karma has the same point. So we do have a radiator sitting right there. There is a lot of different pipes. And uh, actually there is a three. There is one, two, three cooling pumps. I mean coolant reservoir. So basically there is one for the engine right here, and this one, I think it's for the battery, both of them. That's it. There is nothing more interesting about this car because honestly, I never touch the engine myself or I never touch the battery on this car myself. And I hope I'm never going to do that. It's just a complicated piece of history right now, I would say. It's kind of easy maybe to work on, but there is not so many. Uh, it's not demand. There is no demand on this car. Otherwise, I would buy a lot of those cars from out of state, from mid states where nobody want them. And I would sell them in uh, California, in Los Angeles. But again, when you put in for sale, there is quite few people might going to be interested during like a couple months and maybe after half year, you're probably going to sell it after the huge discount and you just don't want to see this car anymore in front of you. So you're just selling it. So again, questionable about the size of this car. The size of this car, it's a huge. It's not a small car, especially the hood compartment. Look at the front end. It's super huge. It's like... It is it reminded me about the Ferrari FF. Ferrari FF has a huge hood because uh, there is a V12 engine on that car. So this car has only four cylinder engine and there is a lot of empty space right there in the middle. So why is it for? What is it for? I have no idea. And uh, but again, why there is not so not so roomy inside? Because there is a four people can drive this car basically one driver and three passengers but the passengers on the back they're going to be squeezed and it's not comfortable at all but why they doing that inside the car if outside you have a lot of space to move it or just squeeze the hood compartment and do more for the interior do more space for your passengers for the driver itself but it's not in this case and it looks like I just noticed that I have no idea about the button, if there is a button to clean the headlights, but there is a washer for the headlights. And I want to show it to you, I want to pop it out a little bit, lift it up, and I want to show it to you why it's here. So basically there is a washer and the water going on the headlights and washing it. In the United States, you cannot see so many cars, honestly. Uh, the one produced for United States, in United States, there is none of them uh, have that option. Maybe few of the cars, they, they do have a washers for the headlights. So I think the designer, engineers and the factory itself, they've been targeting Europe. Because in Europe, it's really popular, it's on demand. So basically most of the cars in Europe, they're supposed to have it because they do have a snow, they cleaning the roads during the winter time and there's a lot of dirt. So you basically need that. And I think one of the huge target for this car, it was a Europe. But as I told before, as I said before, uh, 1800 cars produced and only 200 cars left in Europe. So basically that option on this car, it's a useless. Cool, cool enough to be the Fisker Karma. What's huge history in the automotive industry, especially United States used to be. Right now there is a new Fisker Ocean coming and I hope I hope one day I'm going to drive it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be about the same as this car. 
for some reason because it is the same design, it is the same factory and same people who used to work on this car right now working on a new one. Nope.